Hi everyone. Welcome to video number 7 of the Energy and Environment course. Today we will discuss how are we getting energy from fossil fuel. It is difficult to perceive today's society without the use of fossil fuels. More than two-thirds of the electricity generated in the world is from fossil fuels. Almost the entire motive power is used for transportation. More than 80% of the household's energy for heating and cooking. More than 90% of the energy for industrial processes and products. All three types of fossil fuels, solids, liquids, and gases have been used for the production of electricity, which provides power in a very controlled way to railways, computer networks, telecommunications, household lights, refrigerators, air conditioners, sensors, etc. Now the question is where is energy in the fossil fuel? Actually, fossil fuels contain large quantities of chemical energy, which is released as heat during combustion. When we burn fossil fuel the chemical energy is converted into thermal energy and we use that thermal energy for different applications like in power plants we use it to convert water into steam in boilers and then use that steam to run a turbine to generate electricity. Every fuel has certain lower heating value, the lower heating value is defined as the heat released during the combustion of a unit mass of fossil fuels, this is also known as the heat of reaction, the heat of combustion, and heat content. For example, if we burn 1 kilogram of coal, so the amount of heat released during the combustion of this 1 kilogram of coal is the lower heating value of the coal. The amount of heat released primarily depends on 1. The type of the fuel. 2. If the combustion is complete or part of the reactants do not burn. 3. Whether or not any water that is formed from the combustion of hydrogen is in the liquid or the vapor form. The lower heating values of different fuels are given in the table. Look into the table, for example, if we burn 1 kilogram of methane gas it will give you carbon dioxide and water but the amount of heat released during this combustion is 50,020 kilojoules. Similarly, you can see other fuels like ethane, octane, hydrogen, etc. That's it from today's video. If you have learned something new, then please like the video, and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Thank you.